Hey, I'm going to showcase my first prototype of a robotic arm. I've always wanted to make my own robot arm. I designed several models in Fusion 360 in the past, but I never came around to actually making one. I started this project a few months ago. Some main objectives I set for this prototype was to be able to stack cubes, sort color cubes, and type on a keyboard. Here I'm testing the first axis of the robotic arm. I used a stepper motor instead of a servo motor because I needed it to rotate multiple times connected to an internal gear. I'm testing the first axis. Uh, I made a simple Python program to move the stepper motor according to my inputs. Using a servo motor driver I got from Adafruit, I controlled the servos. Right here, I'm testing the second axis of the robot arm. Um, the servo I'm using in this video is a 35 kilogram motor, but I would later need to change it out for a 60 kilogram motor, because this one was too weak with the extra parts and motors on the end. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm controlling the arm using uh, another program I programmed using PyGUI. Uh, using the WASD and the arrow keys and a few other keys I'm able to control all the axes. Currently the robot arm is really jittery because I'm moving it like five steps at a time for each time I click the keys. The servo motors also have a lot of backlash so I don't know how repeatable these movements would be.
robot arm. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Next time, I will be playing around with inverse kinematics and OpenCV to get it automatically locating and picking up objects without me programming it beforehand. For the next model, I will definitely use stepper motors and encoders because server motors just aren't enough to support the entire way of the arm. Maybe if I could use pneumatics or a higher gear ratio for the load on the second axis, it could support its weight better. Oh, and don't worry about the terrible wiring. Trust me, you'll be fixed by next time.